Hello everybody, I'm Ian Gibson. It's Thursday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, and um, all of us here at Subpixel owe you an apology. Uh, the last two weeks, Subpixel Land has been a disaster, and there's only one answer for it that Jake uh, Terrio is going to provide. I'm the PR person for this horrible nightmare park. Yes, exactly. You could pass it on to our uh, chief operations officer, Kyle Bailey. No, no, no. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Um, no, there were, there were absolutely no deaths, none, none at all. And anything you read otherwise is uh, uh, fake news. Got it. Chief legal uh, counsel, I, I... Uh, William. <laughs> Yeah, I deny to confirm it. I confirm no deaths, but I deny all rights to have their deaths. Wait, I'm sorry. In our park. Did you say I denied to confirm it? I confirm to deny it. <laughs> <clears throat> Objection, Your Honor. Sustained. Let's go back to our operating officer. I think all the blame rests with you, buddy. Uh, uh, no blame. I mean, legally, no blame. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I, I, I would true. just like to say, I would just like to say, I think it's important that we focus on the positives, and uh, some of those positives happen to include um, launching people off roller coasters faster than they've ever been in their entire lives, which ended shortly thereafter by no fault of our own. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, those people got to experience something few people ever get to experience. And also, I mean, the park itself is is a pretty monumental achievement on three perfectly rectangular islands that didn't exist before we started building them. So I think we've done a absolutely fantastic job of bringing the 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 world something it's never seen before and doing things with the world that people didn't uh, live to uh, finish experiencing. That's right, because on that note, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the final day of Subpixel Land. Um, sad note, I know, but uh, let's kick into it. Uh, let's start from the top. Jake, what's your uh, what's your goal for today's stream? Um, I'm just gonna try to build. I've been trying to do uh, one coaster of every type that is available. So I'm gonna see if I can if I can complete at least one coaster of the rest that I haven't built yet, which I think is maybe five or six of the coaster types at this point. But that's my goal. And uh, Kyle, what's your goal? <clears throat> As always, my goal is 100% uh, park satisfaction. Uh, but on top of that, I would like to really really try and bring a sense of community and a sense of family as we shut our doors. Uh, I, I hope that people leave the park feeling that that we did something to better their lives. That's a nice sentiment. That's that's my that's my goal. I'm here to ruin that sentiment, William Crosby. You know, I was kind of hoping for maybe two or three more deaths. You know, really get this haunted park going. Uh, Who's yeah, this character? And, uh, I don't know. I just I came up with it and kind of talking like oh, oh, oh this and hoping people die on our park. You know, I hope so. Hoping people <laughs> die. On our park. Wow. In our park. I'm sorry for the vernacular there. English is my fourth language. Confidence as always. Uh, you know, for my stream, I just want to, I think this has been a very successful series. Let's just uh, kick it off to the end. I feel like we made a whole lot of money with the world's first car for gamers. And it's time to just get rid of all Blow that it. money. Exactly. And I think we're doing a good job of that. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Sorry. I'm in. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> if you what? your chairlift, your chairlift over by my by my maze, it's just a line of people waiting to get off, sitting on the chairlift, and it's the funniest thing I've ever oh. seen. Wait. Uh, if you come to uh, Mine Precious, it's across the street. That's that's the maze. Oh, it's so good. Okay, wait, wait, wait. What? Chair, chairlift two. Oh. oh, okay. Let me look it up. Chairlift two. I wish I, you could like put a node down and be like, "Yo, I'm here." Drop a pin. Oh, on 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 my side. Why are they not getting off? Just all, 
it's just slowly getting off. They just stack up faster than they can get off. Oh, you know what I think it is? There's a. I wonder if the station's not big enough. It's a minimum waiting time. Oh. Plus, there's there's not enough people coming in, on your side. It's, so it's weird because I didn't do that many chairs. It selected that many. It's stuck. Oh, this guy loves his roller coaster. He's going back. Yeah. Also, that's not my chairlift. Isn't? I thought it was yours. No, I built one Who's further chair? down. That. Oh, it's not mine. Um. So I'm. I'm curious Got to a hear. Rope chairlift. Uh. I like this stream mostly because it's allowed us to just kind of check in with each other. What have you guys been playing? Who's going first? <laughs> Network desync. That's a weird game. Tell us more about it. <laughs> this is an awesome game where you get four people together and then the thing they're working on becomes desynced. 3,930 yeah. guests. 3,926. We're doing pretty 3, good. 3,927? 29? 29. Man, we're actually doing pretty good. I hope no one dies. <laughs> make a path. Um, yeah, William, what you been playing? Oh, crap, he chose me first. Um, okay, I actually had a little prepared thing. <clears throat> I will not be intimidated by Ian. Get no. Um, so I was about to say, is this an admission of playing... guilt for the court to hear? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have been playing System Shock 2. Oh. Uh, sequel to System Shock and the prequel to, quote unquote, prequel to Bioshock and Bioshock 2. And Bioshock Infinante. Infinante. Um, yes. Uh, so it's very good. I'm enjoying it immensely. Um, today I got to a part, like there's a big reveal. That, I don't know if it's halfway through, a little bit into it maybe. And um, I really enjoyed that. And then I like, it kind of gives you the freedom to go kind of complete missions however you want to. And I, I guess I had automatically picked the more difficult ones. But mm -hmm. I was like super stressed out, not doing very well. And then finally, I kind of like overcame it and did a different mission that was kind of easier. Um, but the world building is really cool. There's like audio logs everywhere and you got to like, it's a mix of you have I to pay attention to what, logs. Yeah, it's a mix of you have to pay attention to what they're saying in the audio logs because you'll get a little bit of like help from it but any important information gets added to your notes so you don't have to like scour audio log logs to like make sure you heard everything. Mm -hmm. um, but my other thing is, I don't know if this is just when the game came out, but they blatantly like talk about like xenomorphs and stormtrooper, like they use those words. Mm -hmm. And I know like- How dare they? I don't know if it was as must have been as prevalent back then, but I feel like if you were to use a word xenomorph in today's context, you'd have to be talking about an alien alien. Like, I feel like that word's so, like, connotation heavy. That's a good... That you wouldn't use it yeah. for an actual xenomorph, which I assume xenomorph just means alien creature, right? Well, I, that's the thing is I, I, I'm leaning towards it was probably invented for alien, but it'd be interesting to see if it actually was. Yeah, so they use Xenomorph, they use Stormtrooper a couple times, which I know Stormtrooper is a, was it World War II were the Stormtroopers? <laughs> I believe, yeah. No, I believe it was World uh, War I was when it started with the Germans. Okay, it was when it started, gotcha. Um, and then they have like literal alien eggs that open up and like worms come out of. And the worms don't look like the aliens from Alien, like uh, face huggers, but they look like the worms from the beginning of Wrath of Khan that they put in Chekhov's ear. And it's just like, it's, it's like someone was like, oh, oh, what are my favorite sci-fi movies? And I'll just make a game with all of that in it, including like Hal and all this other stuff. And somehow it's just worked perfectly. Like nothing has made me say like, oh, I can't believe they ripped that off. I'm more like, oh, this is great. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm super enjoying that. Um, System Shock 2. Uh, I've dropped off of Kenshi. I, I need to get back to playing it, but I just really haven't had the time. Hi, Zach. Um, hi, Zach. And then I 
feel like well, there's something else I've been playing. I know this sounds like a running I joke, really think but I still yeah. don't know what Kenshi is. No, what Kenshi is. And I think, you know, I, I'm going to put, I the I'm gonna put some blame on you. I don't think you do a very good job of, like, describing what a game is mechanically. No, I described it perfectly last week. It's hardcore Sims. Oh, that's right. That's right. Sorry. Yeah. It, it took us, like, three streams, but okay. we finally got there. Got it. Can yeah. I butt in for, like, two seconds? I'm unable to build on this coaster for, like, more than five seconds without it defaulting to a different coaster type. It's it's because, well, come come look what I'm doing. What are you oh. doing? There are so many roller coasters. <laughs> yeah, but that's... I'm, I'm putting... That's going to hit our max I'm putting limit. one... Well, oh I can goodness. just delete some stuff. <laughs> try try doing it now, because I'm not building anything. Okay, it's, I was like, why is it giving me... And it was always a different type of coaster. <laughs> yeah. What is going on? Sorry, we'll keep talking about Kenshi, and we will keep not understanding. <laughs> no, you should understand it by we now. We do now. Listen, yeah. I'll do a stream where I show Ian what Kenshi Wait is. Wait a minute, you've been talking about no Kenshi understand. for seven weeks now, and you haven't done a stream of it yet? No, can you believe that? I wanted to like make sure I was up on the up and up. Hi. I want to make sure I knew what Kenshi was before I did it. Um. Uh, yes, very funny, Zach. Kimchi, very very funny. And it's uh, cabbage. Um, yeah, it is a cabbage. It's not a fruit. <laughs> the cabbage isn't a fruit, right? Pretty sure it's a veggie. The seeds are on the. Yeah. Does that, is that true? I feel like we've talked about this before, and that it's not true. No, so uh, a, a vegetable, it, so there's culinary and scientific. A, I believe a fruit is something Ooh. that comes off of a plant, but the main plant stays. And the ve a vegetable is the main part of a plant that you take away and then you have to replant it. Does that make sense? Like tomatoes and apples come off of a tree yeah, or a vine. I'm just trying to think of and then they regrow. If there's anything against that. But culinary fruits, seeds are or culinary fruit and vegetables are seeds on the inside or seeds on the outside, something like that. See, it's different. That doesn't though. make any sense because seeds on the inside that means a cucumber is a fruit, or that a strawberry is a yeah. is a vegetable. It's kind of like, I want to talk about this. I want to talk about this for a second. Oh, is that a letter from Maggie? No, this is just some stupid Bank of America. It gives me emphasis. Is it the Donald Trump in, letter? In, in, the in the winter, they tell in you the winter. that 90% the bleak midwinter. of your body heat escapes to the top of your head, and therefore you should wear a hat to stay warm. It's true. I've never heard in that In the summer, I've heard it they tell you heard about cats. to wear a hat to keep your head cool. What's what's going on with hats? <laughs> well, I feel it's, it's all who's a telling conspiracy you to wear a hat by big summer. hats. To keep your head cool. That's what they say. That's why who says this that? is not racist. That's why the Vietnamese tend to wear hats because they're out in the hot rice paddies all day. <laughs> that is anything you That's why anything you have to preface with that. That's why farmers say. That's why a lot of farmers wear or hats, baseball caps or they wear floppy hats. Right, I but those, thought it was just those, to prevent, like, those let heat out. Like, those aren't, like, built to, like, but winter hats are built to trap heat in versus, like, a baseball cap lets the heat through the material. Yeah, but, it, like, it's it's still going to let heat, it's it's not going to let as much heat out as just not wearing a hat. Yeah, but you're also protecting yourself from the sun because the sun's yeah. bad. I'm not saying you. it doesn't make sense at all. It's just one of those things where it's, like, the way people are explaining it does not make sense. Yeah. There was something else with well, that, don't too. Don't listen to that, man. It's kind of like nuclear... Your chair lift for, it's kind of like nuclear weapons, where the common understanding of them is incorrect, so... They make boom? Basically that, like, I read this really good book in college. I got bored one time, so I, oh, no. I looked up this book they had in the, the engineering Bible. library. <laughs> and it was called The Effects of Nuclear Weapons by... Samuel Glassstone or Glassstone, I think, and is basically what name rings up. one of the chief scientists during all of the uh, the U.S. nuclear weapons testing in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, and he just wrote this book about like this is what happens when a bomb goes off, and basically reading through it, it's like the radiation from a nuclear bomb only lasts, it's like 72 hours, 
Uh oh. That's my bad, guys. Nobody was aboard. Oh my gosh. Okay. There goes our guest. It's like 72 hours before that radiation is at a safe level. So nuclear winter basically is not possible. At least with the current nuclear weapons. So it's one of those things where it's when when was it written? This was written in the it was written in the 60s and it's based off the nuclear testing in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. The 1600s. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. Yeah. So it's like it's like the whole prevalence of like nuclear war being this like uh, huge disaster. It's like there's plenty of people living in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. It it doesn't like render the landscape yeah, inhospitable. Now. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think anyone lives there. I've been I've been to Hiroshima. It's it's a huge city. There's not people living in. Uh, what was the one that just happened? The Fukushima? Uh, Bolivia. Yeah, but, but that's different. That's not a nuclear weapon. That was a reactor. Oh, right. Yeah, sure, sure. It was a facility. Yeah, so the whole idea of, like, mutually assured destruction... Well, mutually assured destruction still works because you're destroying a country. Like, its infrastructure and its population. But the idea of nuclear winter is not really right. feasible with, with current nuclear tech. Nuclear weapons. Um, like, is it basically... It's saying the difference between a a physical nuclear weapon and like the meltdown at the chernobyl reactor yeah there's a huge difference because so basically yeah. if a nuclear bomb goes off what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to get uh i believe it's it's like three feet of soil or 12 inches of concrete between you and the radiation and the source of radiation and that'll be enough to protect you at least for the initial radiation come through and then as long as you stay in that location for 48 to 72 hours, you can then reemerge and the levels will have gone down so much that as long as you're not like eating food or touching topsoil, then you're okay. And even that will dissipate after a period of time. So it's really not, it's not like, you know, all sorts of video games and movies and even like popular policy, military policy would have you believe that it's like you set a nuke off and that place is desolate and irradiated for a hundred years it's like you're no. done yeah it's like no not not really <laughs> i mean it's not going to be it's not going to be a nice place for maybe two three days but then you're going to be fine um let's test it let's do it <laughs> yeah, let's go let's go see what happens uh hiroshima is kind of weird though because we went there and it was i would think i was like six or seven at the time and it was me and my family and we were being all like very respectful because we're white Americans in the middle of Hiroshima and they have mm -hmm. like a they have a park and they have they still have the city hall which was like one of the few concrete structures in the city when the bomb went off and it's just like <clears throat> girder like concrete rebar girder mess um, and they have a river where basically the river runs through the center of, of Hiroshima and when people when the bomb went off and they were caught on fire, like all the people jumped in the river and then drowned. And so we're like being very respectful going through this park. And all the Japanese there were just like not respectful at all. They were just like laughing and they were like, oh, can you take our picture? Oh, hi. And it was like, oh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> it was very weird being there. And then going through their museum I mean, and like reading the subtle ways in which they, they are interpreting history differently from us is like, oh, okay, okay. Well, I know that my parents have been there and they say like the reported numbers obviously are very different. Yeah, yeah. Similar to how Russia says only 15 people died as a direct result of the Chernobyl meltdown, but everyone else is like, yeah, maybe that number is a little high. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was the hitman that killed the rest of them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna build this. There. I'm gonna build this. Amazing. I mean, I guess that's kind of like, I don't know how many of you have been to the 9 11 memorial. Yeah. But like, people are mostly respectful, but it's definitely like, it's a public place. People are gonna, there's like people. I don't know, like eating and walking around laughing and being loud and stuff like that. So, yeah. I don't know. It was kind of... That's a good comparison. I guess I guess that's that's in, like, every culture. But Yeah, yeah. I used For, to commute through there, so it's very, like, trafficked. But when you get up to the memorial, most people are very... Yeah, that, and that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, most, most people are like, oh, I want to look at the names and be quiet. But, like, you can't... Not everyone is going to do that. Especially people who are, like, live there or spend a lot of time around there. And it's, like, becomes something other than a memorial it's just like another place to walk through but okay uh, quick oh question. my how many, gosh how many g's before someone blacks out it's train six just blew up uh, i mean i think it depends what? on the, the trains crashed 
Not on mine. Not on mine. It says train six. The oh, train it was. Oh, it, wait, no, no, no. I'm sorry. It was rimming. Oh check, no! Check, check rimming. Uh, rimming. Check checking. out rimming. <laughs> Shaft grinder. Checking. Okay, hold. I'm gonna. Uh, I need to do some quick Google searches. Um, yeah, rimming's <laughs> on mine. Oh, I thought you were gonna Google rimming. Nope. <laughs> All these people want to get out of maze one. Why? Okay. You're having so much fun. I seem to have constructed a coaster that will probably cause people to black out. <laughs> Nice. Was that the goal, though? It was not the goal, but... Um, Did you make the euthanasia coaster? It's not going to kill people. It just says that four to six Gs, if it's sustained for more than a couple seconds, you'll have visual impairment and you'll probably pass out. We're okay with that, though, right? But the, the excitement and intensity ratings are actually pretty good, so I'm hoping some people go on it. We'll see what happens. <laughs> uh, Jake, you been playing any video games lately? Yeah, so I played, um, I finally had a chance to finish a game that I uh, kickstarted a while ago called In Other Waters, mm -hmm. um, where going back to what Will said about did Alien, uh, was they, were they the first people that said Xenomorph, you play a xenobiologist on um, a fictitious aquatic planet, Actually, I don't know if it's fictitious or not, but an aquatic planet, you know, light years and light years away, and basically the whole game is from the perspective of just like user interface on like this underwater craft that you are an AI aboard um, and you're unraveling the mystery of this planet and you're researching like all the local <coughs> flora and fauna and it's pretty neat and I liked it a lot. Oh, that sounds pretty um, cool. Yeah, you should all check it out because my name's in the credits as a Kickstarter backer. Whoa! <laughs> but also so just because it's really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't check it out. Though. Um, but uh, I've also been playing some Jet Lancer, which I think I might have mentioned on the first Roller Coaster Tycoon stream, um, that I had been stuck on a mission that was too hard. But they've since, I guess, a lot of people were having trouble with it, so they've nerfed it. Oh. Um, and now I've been I've been playing more of it. Yeah, and it's still very fun. I remember you t cool. talking about that. Yeah. yeah But that's really good and then obviously I've still been piddling around in Animal Crossing um, nope. What about what about you uh, Kyle? Um, Sorry, I'm trying I'm warping the earth. Uh, okay, I have sunk so many more hours into Star Citizen since oh. playing it last time. You got stuck in prison. I got, I got sucked into the the. I don't know what you want to call it. The, the, I guess maybe the gameplay loop, but it's a little bit more than that. It's just, it's like very interesting. Is the best thing I can say about it, and it's it is fun when it works. Mm -hmm. um, and I also put it on. I bought finally like a two terabyte ssd to put all my games on and it is so much faster than it was oh, yeah. it would literally take like 30 minutes to load in and have to cache everything in ram and now it takes like 30 seconds so um it's it's way better and a, a much better experience overall but it is a lot of fun uh i i do have to say the community on there and i said this last time but like i really have to emphasize our 99% like the nicest community I've ever oh, met, that's good. Or ever ever had the pleasure to play with. Everyone is so helpful and like it's just sort of like a known fact that if you're playing especially your first time, you're going to be encountering a lot of bugs and there will come a time when your ship just like blows up or disappears and you're stuck in outer space and you can text in the global chat like, "Um, can someone come pick me up? I'm floating." 30 kilometers outside of this space station and most <laughs> of the time people will be like yeah sure where do you want to go um so i actually made a couple uh friends through stuff like that and now i'm part of like an organization uh which is like the in-game sort of i guess i don't know what you would call it like it's it's just like a group it doesn't really mean anything but you can host different events uh like i think they're doing some sort of an organization night tonight with a bunch of trading or, or I, I don't know exactly what they're doing but it was very cool people were very welcoming and um i bought like a uh, using in-game money uh i bought like a big ship so if anyone 
uh, no, wants to shot. play, uh, my ship can house four people oh. and has, Ooh. I think, two two turrets, I think. Um, so we can, I can have a co-pilot and I can have two people in a top and bottom gunner position. Uh, and we can also fly around. So that would be, I that would be fun to do. Yes. I've actually been interested to see how that works, but I've heard from a couple people that it was the, using the HOTAS controls was better earlier in development and they kind of did some changes to the core um, game engine that made it a little bit worse now, but I don't, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I think like, I remember Zach saying they, they didn't want to design the game to work with a HOTAS yeah. because they didn't want people like relying on it. Versus like Elite Dangerous, it's the exact in-game thing as the as the uh, Thrustmaster one. Yeah. Well, and okay, so that Thrustmaster joystick and throttle thing is like almost four hundred dollars, which seems ridiculous to me. Uh, but I was just looking up some videos on YouTube, and there were a couple of people that said, "Yeah," and like you know, three point one or whatever the the version of Star Citizen, it was way better, and then they nerfed it in three point three or something like that. So, there, I feel like there's a whole back catalog of news and updates and stuff that I will never understand just because I haven't been playing it for the past five years. But yeah, it's um, it's been a lot of fun, honestly. Like. I'm, it's nice to sort of get lost in something, mm -hmm. and I think I'm definitely still getting lost in it, which is which is a lot of fun to be able to to, to say. Yeah, I, I forget uh, the Thrustmaster I have was cheap. I think Zach actually got it for me for my birthday, but it, it wasn't four hundred dollars. Yeah, I, I think there's I, so I, I, I think there's one that's like it's like fifty dollars MSRP, but I I don't know if it's made anymore. So I think the problem is the price probably went up crazy uh, aftermarket. Mine's like over here. Haunted House 2 has broken down. The ghosts are on strike. Also, Zach's very excited we're talking about Star Citizen. Oh, uh, yeah? No, I, I really like it. Okay, so the one I was looking at, the HOTAS thing, is the Thrustmaster HOTAS Warthog Flight Stick. And oh, that I, I remember looking at it like years ago, and I don't remember it being this expensive, but just the joystick is $232 plus $40 in shipping. And uh, it's got good ratings, at least, except for the very first rating on Amazon is uh, half a star. No, it's one star so because I'll, they said it was cheap. I have the Thrustmaster T1-16000M, and that's it's on Amazon right now. It's 138 I, I, I want to say I got it for like 100 uh, but I've used it like twice. And it's currently oh, it the good. stand for my lamp behind my computer. <laughs> well, because I was looking up these different um, HOTUS controllers and a bunch of stuff came up with, and I'm not sure, Ian, you definitely know more about this, uh, but it came up with like a like a metal sort of frame that you could also put like a steering wheel on for driving games. Yeah. And I, I wasn't sure what your setup was for your F1 stuff. No, I don't, I don't do that. So the, so the full frame is, it's probably, they either do roll, they either do tube steel or they do uh, aluminum extrusions. That's for like, mm -hmm. pe people do that because they'll build, like, they'll build themselves a cockpit and it's less that it's a cockpit and more that it's a standalone unit and it has like a monitor arm in the front for one or three monitors sure. and then they have the rig on top of it i'm not sure you need it that much for um flight but it's it's important to have a stable rig with driving because when you start mm. getting the force feedback wheels and when you start getting into pedals especially pedals that have you put actual tension oh in yeah you're stuff, right? you're ripping that thing so so i just have a simple folding yeah. unit that's pretty sturdy uh, but that that still cost me like 110 bucks for the for the folding metal rig just to put the stuff on. Um, gotcha. So the just real quick, the Hotas I was thinking about is the Thrustmaster T Flight Hotas X Flight Stick. It's like the cheapest one, but it's only 63 bucks off Amazon, and people say this is like really good quality for the price you're paying. It's like a great entry level one. What's the it, designation again? Uh, it's T Flight Hotas X Flight Stick. Yeah, and the the one I have is really good. It's and I believe it is the one that is the Elite Dangerous in game one. It's modeled after. I, which Elite Dangerous is. I need to get. I should try that game. I may end up getting fun. a, a I wanna, joystick. I want to try uh, it again too. I may end up getting a joystick for Flight Simulator when that comes out. Oh, Ooh, I forgot that's coming out. Yeah, it's still scheduled for this year, and they've been doing alphas, closed alphas. Mm. Zach says the Cytec X52 Pro. What he recommends. 
which I believe, I think that's the one remember, that they talk about on Giant Bomb all the time because it always shows up in, um, it always shows up in movies as a prop. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it does kind of look like that. See, I like the look of that better than the Thrustmaster. Yeah. Zach has the non So this is 162. Ooh, and, it, and it has lights. The, the X-52 is 162 through Wikibuy. Okay. That's not bad. Oh, is it? I can't, yeah, it's not available. It is available on Amazon just through third-party buyers, it looks like, or sellers. Oh, no, wait. There's a, uh, there's a newer version that's in stock for 150 Why does it only have four ratings, though? Hmm. I don't know. Okay, we need to we need to fix this boat higher one because people can't get off. Because they're just not returning the boats to the harbor. Where did you get yeah, off? because there's stuff in the way. Okay, so you so we just delete it? No, I, I'm just gonna move the stuff. I feel like I made it. Um, there. Look, uh, they're immediately all going back. I don't know how many of my. As Kyle was talking about Star Citizen, I was reminded of my oh. experience with EVE Online. I don't remember how many of those stories I've told, but um, I had a Not similar enough. experience early on um, to with the, the EVE community, um, which I get for all its ups and downs does have some very nice people in it, um, where like the third or fourth day that I was playing, I was mining somewhere um, that I guess I didn't realize was low enough security that players could attack you. Mm -hmm. And uh, these two guys in, in big cruisers rolled up and just immediately destroyed me. Um, and I respawned somewhere else. But then um, I got a message from one of them because on the, at least at that time, I don't know how it is now, but your little player ID that gets like when a player clicks on you and it pulls it up, it says how long that either that character has been made or how long you've been playing. I don't remember the exact details, but somehow they determined that I had only been playing for a few days. And they were like, oh, hey, you know, we didn't realize, you know, you were so new. We're so sorry. Here's, you know, enough money to, to buy back your ship with all the stuff that you had. And I'm like, oh, thanks. Thanks, boys. <laughs> and then you blew them up and stole yeah, all their and then I came back two years <laughs> later and destroyed them. Uh, it's funny you mentioned EVE Online because our next server quest is EVE Online. Oh, oh really? Do you know? You yeah. need to let me know when that's happening. Actually, that's perfect because I believe the server quest on the stream schedule is when I'm on vacation. So that would be perfect. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Uh, I'll have to yeah. see if I can get back into my account. I think that might be... Yeah, I think I have an account too, even though I probably played a grand total of like 20 minutes. Um, I think I might play that game a little bit before the episode. Rather there are than a lot of systems. Well, you could have... Go through you could have everything. G Wait, Jake, can you play it? Or maybe... On a map? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, what if what if Jake hosts the stream and you're you're along for the ride? Oh, that's I don't true. know if I can play it and host a stream. That or might be a little too much power. Oh. Jake can uh, walk me through it. Yeah. That's true. I'll probably but to I, push I, I do too, think I, can try. I think you're right though. If you're starting from scratch, you got to put some hours in because I remember that tutorial being real boring for the first couple yeah. hours. Well, uh, it's also interesting to see if it's gotten any better. So I, I know I've gone through that tutorial before. The rookie ships have gotten better. Um, I don't know if the tutorial itself has gotten better. I know at least a couple years ago they did kind of revamp the whole um, starter experience um, with new quest lines and stuff, but I, I don't know if that was before or after you started playing. Uh, it's probably, yeah, I don't, <clears throat> it's probably like 2009 or something like that. I am um, actually speaking of games we've been playing, I, I totally forgot. Uh, I got back into World of Warcraft because I'm an insane person. Well, I mean, at least you're paying um, for the subscription, so I think it would be insane not to play it. <laughs> exactly. Um, so, yeah, I bought it. I just do a month at a time, even though it's probably not cost effective. But um, that way I'm not stuck into playing longer. But it's fun. I'm in I'm like level 78 maybe now. Um, and it's uh you know, it's uh, like I said last week, it's the ultimate podcasting game. You just play it and do nothing or you play it and watch something else. And it's uh, 
Yeah. I'm in like Northrend now, getting my engineering up. Getting advantage of the auction house. Pretty good. Um, so I've been playing. I talked about this on a previous stream, but it's worth talking about some more because I'm still playing it. Boys, I think I've found the best VR game. Um, what? Is it Pavlov VR? It's, it's Pavlov VR. It's called uh, Pavlov. And it's um, it's basically like, okay, did you guys ever play? I mean, I'm sure you did. You remember how? Do you guys remember like Counter-Strike or there were some other games that did this, but Counter-Strike did it really well where you would launch into Counter-Strike and you would pull up the server browser and there was just a whole bunch of like different maps and different modes and they're all like community created and there's like some servers that are running this mode all the time and they're playing like zombies there's one that's playing like rush there's one that's playing the normal mode there's one that's playing gun game and you just kind of load into those servers you guys remember those that that heyday of uh online fps games Vaguely. yeah so this is that but it's in vr so <laughs> This game is incredible, okay? It's just so simple, but it works so well because when you have the guns, you have to operate them. It's slightly simplified, but for example, if you have an M4... Oh, I'm realizing now I've seen GIFs from this. Yeah, it's, so there's a couple games like this, but this one like perfectly nails it between too simple and too complicated. Like if you have, a, if you have an M4, you press a button to drop the magazine, then you have to reach down in your pouch, grab a new magazine, Put it in the gun and then you either rack the slide manually or you press the button for the slide release which not all weapons have that or like the m249 the light machine gun or the saw as it's commonly called um i like using that but in order to reload it you pull the box off you put the new box on you open the flip open the top you drag the belt of ammo in there then you drop the the top and you rack the the slide and it's so good and it has iron sights and it feels really good and there's all these crazy servers and uh, I've talked about it before, but I fired it up again the other day because I don't, VR has been just a disappointment for me because the hardware's not quite there yet and there's just not a lot of good games, but Pavlov is great because I fired it up the other day for the first time in like four months. And there's a new mode online called World War II and it was a 32 person server and it's just the Omaha beach level. Oof. And I've played that over and over again in all sorts of video games, and I'm sure you guys have too. But this is by far my favorite, like, implementation of it. Because being in VR, it has a whole new level. Having to actually, like, operate the weapons adds a whole new level. You're running around, there's voice chat built in by default, because most headsets have a mic built in, so you just talk, and people who are around you hear you, so you, like, run up and you're like, there's a guy on the right, will you cover me? And the guy next to you is like, yeah, I'll do it! And you're like, alright, let's go! And then you're, like, booking it, and you're firing, and you get up there, and all of a sudden you're like, I need a grenade! And you pull a grenade off your chest, and you pull the pin out, and then you throw it, and it's just... It's incredible, guys. It's so so good it's by far the best vr game i've played and it's crazy how simple it is it doesn't have a crazy gimmick it's just that online fps server browser heyday golden age but in vr and it's amazing i whew, i just get so excited i played it for like an hour today i got so excited the other day playing it that on that d-day level i had the the saw the squad automatic weapon and i was providing covering fire but i couldn't it's it's hard to aim because it's iron sights, so you have to actually line it up. And then if you fire, you get the recoil. So you're like trying to like hit people from like 50 yards away. So I ended up just laying down on the ground to st <laughs> on, on my living room floor to stabilize my hands so I could actually fire properly. And I've never done that. I've never gotten that much into a VR game where I'm like, oh, I need to actually crouch. I need to like lean around corners. Fantastic. I've just, it's a real good game. <laughs> who made Paul Walker's last <laughs> ride? <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. That's a good one. I, that may have been me. I can't remember though. <laughs> That's awful. Hmm. I did people are people are queuing up for this. There's fifty people on this ride where they're gonna be pulling seven G's. <laughs> wow. Oh I, is it the red one? No, it's it's oh, flesh colored. Aren't people usually scared? Not for this, apparently.
Guys, we hit 4,000 guests. We dropped back down again, but I think we're going to break it again. Oh, I'm at 4,073. Oh. Oh. Well, that's okay. What do we think our uh, total total guess is going to be by the end of the stream? I don't know. There's a, a campaign Ten. level that I've been working towards where you're supposed to get to 4,500 people, mm -hmm. and it's taken me several days just to get to, like, 2,500. Um, about the same rate that we've been getting them on this. Yeah, I, th uh, I think we're going to get to 4,200. That's my guess. There's so many roller Seems coasters. Like a good estimate. Um, we are 11. Did you manually build all these, or are these pre built They're pre builts Oh, okay. I was like... just throwing them down the water. 11 <laughs> years into this scenario. It's bonkers. Yeah, I was just looking at a ride I built nine years ago. <laughs> uh, Kyle, do you mind if I start putting paths to some of these coasters? Please, go, th go for it. I was attempting to and failing because I don't understand how this path system works. Yeah, it's a little long. It's clunky. I'm a clunky. Okay, I think I'm... I'm a clunky girl. Yeah. In a clunky world. Oh, I'm in a clunky world. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Please. Man, people love... I think the, the most popular the roller coasters. We just got an award. Oh. People love my go-karts. It has never not been full. People love my go-karts. You know what, Ian? It has I'll kill you. never <laughs> literally set you on fire. It has <laughs> never. Are you calling me? It has her? never. So, Ian, I want to hop back to this VR game that you were talking about. Is oh, this so the good. one I've been seeing some gifs of, like, people leaning around the corners and pulling the magazines out of other people's guns? Uh, yeah, I believe that that is the one where the, the, the popular gif is this guy walks up to an enemy and the enemy is trying to work his bolt action rifle. And there's a lot of kids playing the game. So the, the, the enemy is this kid and he's like, I can't, I can't load my rifle. So the, the enemy takes the gun from him, cocks it, puts the bullet in it. And then I think he shoots him with that gun. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's definitely still got wonky physics though. Cause like there was this guy that walked up to me today and he's like, Hey, can you pick up that gun on the ground? And I was like, why? And he goes, I can't reach it. <laughs> so I had to like bend over <laughs> and pick up this gun for him and hand it to him. But but at the same time, it's pretty yeah. cool because um, it's hard to see your own health bar because it's on your wristwatch. But if you see your teammate, they their name is displayed above them along with like a health banner. So it's, it's easier to see other people's health than it is your own health. I don't think it's by design. I think it's just a, a way that the game is. But you have these pills. So if you want to heal yourself, you take the pill bottle and you pull the trigger and you just like guzzle the pills. <laughs> but yeah. so people go around, they're like, brah, brah, thank Gibson, thank Gibson, brah, have some pills, have some pills. And they'll like hand you their pill bottle and you're like, oh yeah, I am low on health. Thanks. <laughs> it's so good. It's fantastic. So how's the, what's the movement? Is it teleporting like in some VR games or are you using a controller to actually like it is, walk around? It is analog stick only. And I'm not going to lie. That's what got me sick the first night I played VR. Um, I, I, for a while there, I could only play this game for about 15 minutes before I felt sick enough that I was like, I need to back off and take a break for a day or two. But I'm, I'm up to the point where I played it for like 45 minutes a day and I didn't feel sick at all. So it's, it's, it's this weird thing about VR where the most, one of the most nausea inducing things you'll find is analog stick movement. But it's also really frustrating to play a game that does not have analog stick movement. Um, otherwise it's just like, unless it's an on-rail shooter or like a stationary type shooting range thing, you really want to have stick movement. Um, but that's the thing that's most likely to get you sick. Right. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's just weird because up until I played Pavlov, I was like, yeah, these VR games are kind of cool, but I don't think it's worth the $400 hardware plus the cost of the game. And they weren't really lasting me longer than 15, 20 minutes of you know, novelty. But Pavlov is like, every day for the last week, I've been jumping into Pavlov at least once or twice. 
because it's just so good. I feel like every time I've sent you a message on Discord, I'm like, uh, we were just talking. Why hasn't he gotten back to me yet? And then check, you're playing Pavlov. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm like, dang it. It's And I can't message you because you'd have to take your whole VR set off. Yeah. Just so you can... See Actually, well, happening. no, if you message you live me, in the real world, Ian. but if you message me, I think I'll hear the noise and then I can just pull up the, the Oculus menu and pull up my window and pull up Discord. Okay, I just didn't want to bother you. Well, I mean, that's the, the way you get sometimes. Um, yeah. So it's, it's, it's crazy. I think, uh, I think I told Jake about this, how the first time I played this game, the map was a recreation of the office. And, um, no, you, you did not tell me that it was, I joined a server and it was called the office. And I was like, is this what I think it is? And I joined the server and the match they were playing was knives only. So everybody was just running around with a knife out. And as soon as you touch somebody with a knife, they die. <laughs> so, but it was like a one-to-one -one scale representation of the office. And it was crazy. That's pretty good. It was crazy. Like Cause like, it's one of those things where the, the textures and the graphics were crap because it was like, VR and it was somebody's homemade level, but the presence you're immediately like, Oh, I'm in the office. I know what this is. I know what this is. I know there's the break room, <laughs> there's the hallway that goes past. That's the women's room, the men's room. Where's Toby's desk? You know, it's like it's fantastic. And then the best part was this is when I fell in love with this game, honestly, guys, was playing that level. And then three minutes later, I realized there was a guy on the enemy team who was doing this into the microphone. He's going, <laughs> and because of the audio, <laughs> you would hear him quietly in the distance, and then he would start running towards you, and he would be like, <laughs> and then he would just stab you. <laughs> so you'd be walking along, and then all of a sudden you hear it behind you, and you turn around, and he's like, <laughs> it was so good. It's just stupid goof shenanigans. Oh, I, I wonder if there's someone's YouTube video of them doing that, and you happen to be in it. <laughs> oh, I hope so. It's it's a really fun game. I, I haven't done... They do have... Um, do you guys know that game mode Trouble in Terrorist Town? Or Terrorist yeah. in Tr Trouble Town, whatever it's called? Trouble in Terrorist Town. It, yeah, you, were, you were right the first time. Yeah, so for the, so for the viewers, it's kind of like Mafia, where basically um, there are some people that are terrorists, and they're trying to kill everybody. There's a bunch of innocent people, and then there's a detective who can look at people and see if they are a terrorist or, or a good person. Um, and some people have weapons, some people don't. And then the problem is like the terrorists are outnumbered so you can't just go around shooting people because then you're going to get killed right away and then the villagers are going to win so it's kind of this like social deception game and apparently pavlov is great for this because there's like servers with like 20 people on it and they're everybody has a mic everybody's walking around and they're like moving their bodies so if they're moving around real weird you're just like why are you moving weird are you a terrorist you know and you can like everybody has a mic so you're asking people questions so that's i haven't played that yet but that's supposed to be a really good game mode as well they ask you that at the airport. Are you a terrorist? Excuse me, are you a terrorist? I am. What gave it away? Was it Boca Raton? How did you know? Was it Pokemon? Did you know I'm a Pokemon? Did you know, did you know I'm a Pokemon? Yeah. Did you? you zoom? It's. <laughs> I zoomed out for the first time in a while, and there's some interesting <laughs> landscaping that has been done. I was waiting for someone to... Oh, wow. Oh, we've, we've noticed. I just... Did you actually... I, I didn't know about this, but there's a cutaway view. Do you know about this? Yeah. Where? And you can, like, change the height of it to, like, see things cut away. I mean, it doesn't really work on our map that's, like, completely flat. But uh, it's pretty neat, TBH. It's the way honest. the Earth really is, Will. Flat? Yeah. You know, now that you mention it, I have always thought that. <laughs> like all your jokes. They fall flat? I don't get it. Oh, they eat flat. <gasps> Ooh, something exploded. Burning, burning hole. hole. How did my burning that's hole not mine, explode? Will. That's yours. That's mine. It's been running for years. No, that's weird. It's been yeah, it's been a, over a decade of of operation. Six years ago, I built it. Six years ago. I poured well, my life into still this burning up. hole. Well, oh, you can still see the smoldering wreckage. Can't win them all. No, sorry, that's that's all my smoking. 
Oh, Serendipitously, no. there's this big skeleton right next to it. Well, the best part is nobody goes on the roller coaster. It's only oh, so ever had died? negative two people. Two people. Oh. It says customers it on ride on it when you built it, and it then says, they left. It says customers on ride negative two. That's weird. What does that mean? How do you? Where do you see how long ago you built it? Uh, it's in the people tab, the last tab. Oh. But okay. Some of our oldest stuff, it only says nine years. Huh. Well, this was... Okay, the first thing I built was this wooden coaster. I guess, when did I complete it? Ten years ago. Yeah. But, but see, we're in year 12. I know. Well, it took me... It probably took us a while. Yeah. To get those first couple uh, rides. Wrote, rimming running. sucks. Uh, you're wrong about the coaster. And your life. And something. <laughs> that's, that's what we were talking about. <laughs> um, about the interesting landscape. Oh, no, the only I reason, you, the only I reason, you this interesting landscaping over on the edge. No, no. Uh, the only reason that some random person decided to pay to have that written was because it was broken down for so long. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but you can't rim all. The oh. time. <laughs> <laughs> they can't rim them. Join you can't them. ride the rim. Oh, I'll all try. The time. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> It's like having too many lollipops. <laughs> you can never have I, fun. I mean, honestly, I, I think that message has improved the guest uh, experience, and also our guests are still going up. Oh, wait, no, now they're going down. No, now they're going up. Our park rating has also gone back up a little bit. 4132. Nice. 4116. 4116. 4116. 18. Kyle's ahead of all of us. I'm ahead of the curve. Future. Speed running it. <laughs> oh no, was that... Was that... Lightning, Jake? No. Well, Lightning, so. Jake? Oh, you the know queen? what? I think it's your camera. Your camera every now and then adjusts the lighting. Oh, And it, it looks does. like oh. a... Yeah, it's Sorry. kind of weird. No, I mean, it's not an issue. I, I was just... just it. It'd be cool if it was lightning. Now it's just... Oh, it's I dull. just saw it happen on stream. Yeah, <laughs> it's just adjusting the, the iris. Yeah, it'd be cool if you were cool. But you're not. You're just like my fart. Just like my stepfather. <laughs> just like my stepfather. Yeah, I was going to say it would be weird if you could see lightning in here because I actually have the most of the windows blacked out because there's way too much sunlight in the morning when I'm doing like my our Monday morning team meetings for my nine to five. And it's just like blasting light in my face. It's horrible. And I look terrible. I just rolled out of bed. It's a mess. Oh, yeah. How's the work? We're from home. Uh, how's that working for you guys? No pun intended, but I'll take it. Uh, fine so far. I mean, the difficulty of not having access to a server and having to just get a bunch of stuff periodically delivered on external drives is kind of a bummer. Oh, wait, but... really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that that does sound like a bummer. You guys don't do like a dead drop or something? Not with the kind of file sizes we're dealing with. I just got like a, a like 300 gigabytes of 4K footage on a drive. Oh no, I meant like I meant like if you guys like like an old school Cold War dead drop. If you just handed off hard drives, but I guess that's basically oh, well, the same it is, as it yeah. Is somewhat yeah, somebody leaves it on my porch, and then I go get it. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, boy. Um, speaking of COVID, I got an email yesterday that somebody in the building that my office is in tested positive like three days ago. <laughs> so. Oh, no. uh, <clears throat> you should get out of that building. Well we're, well, we're not in the building, so thank God for that. Oh, you should do that, though. <laughs> get out of the building. <laughs> Yeah. Speaking of COVID-19 and hard drive sizes, um, I don't know if you all watch Bon Appetit. Uh, it's this YouTube channel, um, but they do those uh, bon pa pastry chef make chef chef make gourmet. Gourmet, gourmet 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 you yeah. pleb. Um, Get it right. Everybody watches it. Will we know what yeah, you're talking? Yeah, seriously. About. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> pleb. Anyways, no. with Claire, the second to last episode the not the choco taco one but the one before that was significantly yeah, if you watch it the 
quality of it is significantly less because I want to say that they probably don't have anyone who can go into the office and get or no one who can transfer the footage like in a fast way. So I bet they compressed it and sent the footage to the editors. And that's why it looks like absolute garbage. You mean uh, the one bef the part part one of the Choco Taco? Well, part one or of the, the Choco the Taco does, does look bad, but the one before the Tater Tots is yeah. where I first noticed it. That I think that's where they started editing in quarantine. So let me see. And it's rough. Right. Whenever they do a punch in, it's not like I think they shoot in 4K and punch in a 1080, but they were not doing that. Oh, yeah. I, I think normally yeah. watch it on my phone. So I really notice it's, it's pretty bad. Oh, my gosh. It's like they're using this is set to 1080p, right? Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, no, it, it's it looks noticeable. like it looks like they took 480 footage and upscaled it to 1080p. Yeah. Or so even I, I want to say that's probably what they did is I bet they someone compressed it and sent it. It looks like uh, it, it actually looks like because I think they actually sh I mean, if it were me, I would shoot on 4K and then just downscale to 1080p, yeah. which would give a really crisp image. But yeah, it looks so like good. it looks like they were shooting 4K and used like a 480 or 720 proxy file and exported that. Yeah, <laughs> like, uh, uh, true. Yeah, it's oh it's my gosh, rough. this is really but, bad. Uh, yeah. I, I never noticed this at all because yeah, you got to remember to turn off the proxy files. Yeah. Wow. You idiots. Um, uh, speaking yeah. of uh, things that are not in 1080, um, obviously, original 2001 Animal Crossing, it would not display on my TV. Nice source footage from the capture is like, I think, 360. <laughs> oh, really? Um, but. Um, I remembered one of my favorite things from that when I was capturing footage for that first Animal Crossing video we made was catching a mosquito. And the mosquito model, when you do the little, like, hero moment and show it off, is so small that they have a little arrow pointing to it that says here. <laughs> and I thought that was, like, the funniest thing ever. I just caught a mosquito in New Horizons and had forgotten about that moment. It's like, oh, a mosquito. And then in the process of catching it, I remember the little here. And I'm like, oh, are, is it going to be in this game? And it's not. So, uh -huh. dang. Let's New see. Horizons is no longer my game of the year. Dang. Yeah, I um, also caught a shark. I've had a recent. Oh, I caught a hammerhead shark. I was very excited. Um, I think I mentioned this last week that I fixed, or quote unquote, fixed my Xbox original xbox by cutting the capacitor off that had leaked a little bit but i have absolutely no way to check it because i don't have any way to hook it up to my smart tv um but i remembered that ian and i bought or you know I, I bought cables with ian uh when we were in new york uh for my gamecube and n64 so i very much want to set up my GameCube and play some games. I've got this guy from my GameCube. Oh, fancy. Oh, the composite. Fancy. I mean, component. Yeah, composite to like S video. Oh, okay. nice. Yeah, I, I don't. Because I think the GameCube is proper. S video out. I can't yeah. remember. Yeah, I th Oops. think you're right. Yeah, I've as much as I love all that stuff i have not got into the world of like modding and getting like i mean we bought a ossc ian bought an ossc for subpixel stuff but uh i haven't like not gone that down that route route because it's a lot but sometimes emulators work emulate emulate Tell you what, though, that which I recently found out, uh -huh. um, as Ian Ian supposedly knew this now. Um, I knew the PS3, the first couple revisions of the PS3, the fat guy could play most PlayStation 2 games and they later removed it, but I did not know that the PlayStation 3 can play all PlayStation 1 games because the PlayStation 1 chips are in a PS3. Hmm. What? Didn't know that. Funky. That's bizarre. Yeah. And then, 
PS4 is just a hunk of crap that can't do anything. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, PS- mine just anyway. consistently sounds like a airplane about to take off. <laughs> yeah, I never no really noticed what it I'm playing. until... I want to say mine didn't do this, but Karen's is like a jet engine when she plays God of War. I don't know if it's because I got it re- refurbished. Like, if I had bought one fresh, maybe it wouldn't have done that, but day one it was a jet engine but it's it hasn't had it had one time i think maybe a uh, two two and a half years ago where it randomly couldn't find the operating system and i had to put it on a thumb drive and shove it in and get it to like reboot it still had all my my save files and everything because most of those were were uh, cloud saves anyway, um, but uh, yeah, that's the only big issue I've had with mine, besides it consistently being a jet engine. Yeah, those those things get get loud. I hope they really uh, have the cooling technology down for PlayStation Five, so it doesn't sound like a jet engine. Well, if it's anything like those uh, dev kits, it's they, the weirdo they dev should. kit. Oh, it's a yeah. slice holder. Did you see they uh somebody love a good pizza? Somebody had the design doc for the uh the dev kit. I couldn't find if it was it was true or not, but it, it basically looked like almost like a patent document where it's like an exploded view, uh kind of a mm-hmm. line drawing of the interior. And so you know how it's a V? So one side of the V is just in a giant heat sink that sits on top of the CPU and GPU. <laughs> That's which fantastic. is crazy. That's like that's like a six by three by three inch heat sink, which is enormous. Uh, what am I doing here? Oh, well, I guess I could. Where am I going? On a second. What's my daddy doing? <laughs> um, there's something else I wanted to talk about, and I really don't remember what it was. So. I guess it wasn't important. Oh, that sounds about right. <laughs> Ooh, we oh, we received a park with the best staff. <gasps> Fire That's simply not true. We've, we've kept the same staff on for like 10 years. We better. Yeah, we should be, they should be getting some sort of <laughs> bonuses. <laughs> nah. What if we didn't pay the Number them? of rides and attractions, 241. That's too many. It's a lot, boys. We've had, so, so we have guests. Guests in our park is, at least by my metric, 4,273, 74. Yeah, it's close enough. Um, but lifetime admissions, it says, is over 15,000. Wow. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. That's more than I've ever known. It's more people than I've ever known, too. It's more people than I've ever said, but... But fewer people than have watched your Dwarf Fortress video. That is true. Hey. My, my crowning achievement um, that I have yet to follow. Oh, I followed up with one episode, but... People are waiting. Yeah, I bet they are. They, they're ravenous. I get Rabinous. DMs on Twitter all the time. When is Will going to post more oak crap? <laughs> we do not get DMs on Twitter. We got that. But they are open, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, you hear that? They're open. Slide can, into them. Send us your DMs to get Will to make more Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> yeah. I was going to work on it today, but then I didn't. That's <laughs> 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 basically, basically what happened. <laughs> I was like, man, I should get that done today. And then I was like, nah. What if I well, did? If you're in good company, I saw, um, uh, I can't remember if it was a Patreon update or just on Danny's Twitter, but he's got some sort of Tarn Adams interview in his editing backlog that has yet to be released. What the heck? I want to interview Tarn Adams. It's a great name. It's a good name. It sounds like somebody who would make a game about dwarves. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I just have such an affinity for dwarves. Not in a sexual way, but yeah, just in like a... Sure because that? that's oh. what we were all thinking. <laughs> that blew up. Did you blow up something else? Yeah, but it's it, no one was on it. 
Something just uh, blew down. Yeah, no, it blew up. It really blew up. I want to see why it blew up. But yeah, Dwarf Fortress, man. It's like Kenshi, but not. What? What's Kenshi? That's what they're gonna put on the box. <laughs> Uh, or when it launches on Steam, that's gonna be you can, you oh can put man. that in the reviews. If you can get it as a top review. <laughs> I get their e the emails for the Steam version. Oh, it looks so good. I'm so excited. Oh, I also started playing um, Batman Arkham Knight because it was one of my five dollar GameStop games. I I have I have an interesting problem with that game. And okay, this is gonna sound weird. I think it looks too good and it's affecting ha my gameplay. Um. And the problem is... Please elaborate. So it, I'm playing on my One X. I don't think it's upscaling. I think it's only upscaling uh, frame rate, but not resolution. So it's still 1080. But the problem is there are so many particles and particle effects in that game. And it's raining most There's of the time. There's a lot of rain. That, yeah. like, when you're driving and looking at stuff, all you see are particles. Like, rain, if you blow something up with the Batmobile, it's like a cloud and you can't see anything through it. It kind of just becomes like white noise in a way. It's really weird. It's like they've added way too many mm -hmm. fine particles, and it just becomes a mess. It's like it's it's hard to describe. So I never played it on PC because the PC port was notoriously bad when it yep. came out. I played it on a friend of mine's PS4, so it was that was on TV. I think we had like a 50-inch TV at the time, mm -hmm. and I I didn't have that problem. But I could see maybe that being a problem if you're playing it on your computer and you're like right up against the screen. Oh no! See, I'm I'm on know. I'm on the TV and I've got a 60 inch. Okay. Okay. Well, I I did not have that problem. Yeah. I actually thought I actually still think that game looks really good. Yeah. It just it just um, needs a little bit of anti-aliasing. Other than that, it looks really good. Uh, that one emo skid. Thanks for joining. He says, Ah yes, four men and one RCT two. My favorite stream. <laughs> I'm gonna. Damn right. Ignore that sarcasm and say thank you. Is that this one? Mm -hmm. Is he talking about this one? So I think all of Kyle's coasters are connected and operating. There's actually a lot of people oh, over here now. Oh, man. It's great, honestly. Holy crap. Yes, there are. Wow. That's thank cool. you for doing that because I was completely lost. We're also at 4,300 guests. That's good stuff, folks. I don't believe in guests. Uh, speaking of guests, I really want to watch, rewatch Battlestar Galactica. <gasps> oh my goodness! <gasps> I can't believe you said that. That's my. Right. I have. Oh, I love Battlestar Galactica, uh -huh. and I, I have. I was just looking at my Plex server because I have all all the seasons on there, mm. and I was looking at it, and I was like, oh man, I should rewatch Battlestar Galactica. You know what? <gasps> Can we rewatch it together? Yes, and That's I I have idea. a road trip coming up. I'm driving down to Florida. It's like 12 hours there, 12 hours back. And I'm not doing all the driving. Why are you coming here? Because uh, my sister's down there, so we're we're merging what quarantines is here? for a bit. We're going to Jacksonville. <laughs> Jacksonville. Uh, well, you're going to like the worst part of Florida. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I've seen very little of Jacksonville, but so far it's not as bad as Orlando. Orlando's pretty bad. Uh, Orlando is pretty bad. Um, <laughs> it's but it's interesting though because the different bad parts of florida are bad in different ways like the villages are just really cookie cutter uh east coast particularly like melbourne daytona is just like white trash paradise kind of like myrtle beach in a way oh yeah orlando orlando is just like a it's it's like a bad version of vegas in a way Isn't i can see vegas a bad version of vegas <laughs> Yeah, so I just imagine worse. <laughs> um, so it's weird. And then there's... Uh, actually, Tampa's not bad. I've only been to Tampa once. It didn't seem too bad, but that was a long time ago. I really want to drive down to the Florida Keys. I've always wanted to do that. Florida Keys are awesome. They're great. Yeah. I lost my keys. I got... Oh, well, that's not fun. I got a <laughs> ton of... Uh, sunburn when we went to the keys it was really bad because i just i think like three months prior i decided to shave my head and uh hmm. i thought what i i put on what i thought was more than enough sunscreen and it was not at all well you gotta you gotta put a hat on it keeps the warmth in yeah well we were 
Thanks. Full circle, folks. Thank you. Have a great night. <laughs> Got him. Uh, sorry, didn't mean to interrupt with the bad joke. <laughs> oh, it's you all good. good. Oh boy. Um, uh, what were you? Uh, we, did we agree that we're gonna watch two battles talk about to go together now? Yeah. Do you want? Okay. <laughs> I, I'm gonna say this. This is in jest. I don't think we should do this, but I think it is a good topic to talk about. All these like watch along podcasts and stuff. I, That's such a good idea. I don't know if we should do it or not, but I don't, and I don't think it should be a podcast because podcast market is oversaturated. You're right. It should be a daily show. Um, <laughs> and then um, the other thing is, I feel like all of the watch along podcasts that I've listened to, and I've only listened to a couple, make the Thousand. make the cardinal sin of spending a majority of the podcast episode just. Summar introducing the episode like <laughs> summarizing what happened in the episode and it's like yeah. if we're if we're bought into this podcast and we're watching it along with you we we're not listening to have you explain what we just watched to us you know so it's like yeah. there was um what was it called all systems goku which was the giant bomb one yeah <laughs> it was great it was two guys who don't like anime who forced themselves to watch dragon ball z and it's a hilarious concept, but then they quickly devolved into every episode being them just explaining what happened in the five episodes they were supposed to watch. And so if we were to do this, that's my number one rule is we're not allowed to recap more than a tiny bit. Okay, I'm down. I don't think this will work, though. Why not? Why won't it work? I feel like every time I try to have a serious discussion about like a movie or a TV show with you, you're just like, hmm. Yeah, okay. I can see that. <laughs> no, but most Will's, of the time Will's you're an idiot. Aren't spicy I know, enough. they're really not. Will's takes are just like, yeah, okay. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I just like watching it. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're doing a show on it, but I'll watch it. I'll, oh, let's well, do it. I, I think the most interesting kind of watch-alongs that have come out of this especially is the live watch-alongs with, like, the directors of the movies. Like, oh. Lee Winnell did one for The Invisible Man. And James Mangold just did one like a couple days ago for Logan, um, where they just say, "Hey, turn on the movie at this time," and I'm gonna, you know, live tweet my thoughts and my experiences. Yeah, Edgar Wright did one for Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Oh yeah, really, Wright really good. Um, especially when they post like behind the scenes photos and and stuff yeah. that you don't even you know normally get to see on like the director's cut special edition whatever blu-rays yeah. and stuff so that was really fun but yeah i've i've never seen battlestar galactica it's I've, good i've Real seen good. like one or two episodes i think maybe and then the the one point of reference for the entire show that i have is that portlandia sketch about them <laughs> oh, yeah. watching battlestar galactica finishing it and then wanting to get uh ronald d moore to write more yeah <laughs> so i've been i've been thinking about rewatching it for a couple months now and then I was trying to get Maggie into it, because I think Maggie would actually like it if she can get past the premise, because I think that's what's putting her off. And I even got, I, I thought I had a, I thought I had a hook, line, and sinker, which is that she'd been watching that show Outlander, which is the same showrunner oh. as Battlestar Galactica. It's that, what's his, mm. what's his name, Ronald T. Moore, whatever his name is? He's the, yeah. he's the showrunner uh, on the, Outlander, and Outlander's not bad. It's, it's actually good, probably because he's on it. And, um... I was like, hey, it's the same showrunner. It's got really good, interesting political stuff. And she was like, no. So you know what? <laughs> Done with her. I'm going to watch it on my own. Yeah, with me. Um, yeah, let's do it. I'll, I'll, I'll watch it on my road trip. Yeah, while you're driving. Uh, that, that one emo skid called me an idiot or agreed with whoever called me an idiot for not bringing a hat to Florida Keys and then posted a sticker of... Oh yeah, I don't understand Twitch stickers or Twitch emojis. I can't emojis. tell what the sticker is. It looks like it's it a man be... maybe for a sausage maybe? Or yeah, something. like he's getting ready to eat a hot dog or something. I'm not sure. Uh, I could go for a hot dog. I Oh, I, I meant to say this fun fact about Will. I, I don't know if any of you guys know this. Um, I'm a man. No, um, I've, I'm uh, Ronald T. Moore. <laughs> yeah, I'm Ronald D. <laughs> it's D. Moore, please. More D, um, please. <laughs> ever seen an X Men movie? I don't unless think you're missing much. Um, Wait, which one did you say? I said, unless he's dead, dead. 
poll counts. But no, I, does, I don't think that counts. Does, does, does Logan count? Yes. I've never seen Logan, so uh, probably. You've not seen any of the, like, the 2000s ones with no, Ian McKellen and Patrick there were Stewart? Peep, I think my cousin and my brother were watching it at my house, and it scared me when I was a kid. And I've just mm. never thought to watch. It doesn't still scare me. I've just never thought to watch them. Since. I don't know if it's worth watching any of them, to be honest with you. I, I, I don't think, I think it there's is. there's some. I would. I would say you don't necessarily need to watch um, the original three. I don't even think no. Or Wolverine Origins. I don't even think first yeah. first Days class that that entire new new batch. I don't even think it's that good. Days of Future Past is probably. One of the better ones, I would say. Yeah. But would would Days of Future Past play the same for Will, having not seen any of the other Probably films? Probably not. Like, how is it as an introductory <laughs> X Men film? Because I'd agree with you that it's one it's, of the better X Men films. I would actually think that it would be okay if you haven't seen the other ones, because it takes place so far into the future and so far into the past that mm -hmm. it's like. It's it's. It, Ooh, I Goofer just remember Sutherland exploded. Oh boy, oh it did. Um, I didn't get that. Oh wait, no, I didn't get that at all. What the heck? I saw it on stream. What the heck am I I'm watching? Looking at the little window right now. I don't think now. it blew up on mine. It didn't pop up for me. It says crashed. Goofer Sutherland. How many guests you, you got, Jake? Four thousand three hundred ninety-six. Ooh, that's a decent. Four thousand three hundred twenty-seven. I got sixty-five. Uh, well, you're all about to experience it in a bit. Let me <laughs> classic. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna re redo this. Okay. I'm gonna close the park. Um, Bye. Yeah, Kyle. I only say because I can't remember how much, if they give any sort of introductory time to the older characters. Like, would he be would would Will be lacking any context? I think in that I regard. I think he would. Yeah. So. I, I mean, I love this I conversation, know. but. I just want y'all to know, I, I, no, I have no intention of watching them. I Okay, so if you did, I would maybe watch, like if he watched the first X-Men and then mm -hmm. Days of Future Past, that would be enough. Yeah. Like. To then get into Logan. Yeah. I don't want to be in Logan or on Logan. I think you, you haven't seen it, Willie. I think you, you did. You would be into Logan. Ooh, I think I would be into Logan. It's a good time. But, uh, I'm honestly surprised, Will, because I feel like I don't want to say you have no taste, but I, but I feel like <laughs> your standards for watching something are very low. I mean, you watched what is it, two Dead Space movies? Oof. Yeah, they were good. No, one of them was good. Oh, you know what I watched? Crap, son. You know what I watched? Uh, which is a fantastic movie, um, Demolition Man. Oh, oh yeah. I, right you now. know I. I don't. And it wasn't as good as Commando. Was not as good as Commando. Commando. No, Commando was. A, Commando. Commando. I don't think anything is as good as Commando. Though. And I watched uh, uh, Tango and Cash. Commando oh, I haven't seen Cash? that one. I've heard that's Tango and Cash is incredible. It's absolutely terrible, and it, it's amazing. I love it. I watched a Lethal Weapon for the first time a couple months ago. Have you guys seen that movie? Oh, yeah, like yeah, like a while ago. It's so weird how Mel Gibson's character, like, his main thing is that he just wants to kill himself the whole movie. And it's, like, played half for jokes, half seriously in a way that is very weird. And it's, very 80s. It's, it's just not like a buddy cop movie because one of the cops is just like, hey, what if I kill myself because of my dead wife? <laughs> it's just like, dear <laughs> Lord. Like, there's this one what scene where he, like he like talks a guy off the roof by saying like hey if you jump i'll jump all right you want to do it ready and then he gets him off the roof and his partner's like do you really want to kill yourself and mel gibson like pulls a gun and puts it in his mouth he's like yeah i'll do it right here and it's like what is this movie <laughs> it's very weird american american mad max yeah oh boy sounds like a great flick i was re-watching some old uh terio studios videos where we reviewed some bad movies and we watched some bad movies. I miss I, like, I miss like Terio Studios. It's oh. just so much work. I, I know. I know. <laughs> I did watch a bad movie recently. I watched. Um, let's see if you guys remember this movie. It's called Driven. It came out in the early two thousands. It's a drive. No, Driven. 
the road warrior? <laughs> no. Driven. It's a Sylvester Stallone written starring Sylvester? race car movie. And it's it has some of the most like frenetic, Death awful race? editing I've ever seen. It's 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 the movie where you've probably seen clips of it where there's a part where there there's race car drivers and they're at an event and they get mad at each other, so they hop into Formula One cars that are at the event and they just drive bad CG all over the streets of Chicago, like flipping up manhole Iron covers. Man two? I've done that before. It's a bad movie. Real bad movie. Why why does this game spawn so many cars on roller coasters? <laughs> Um, 30 car? It just Ooh, a tunnel of what? horror. Tunnel of horror. Now that's how did crash. that happen? <laughs> guys, Look how many cars are tunnel of horror. Guys, we're going to start oh, losing guests about here. To crash too. <laughs> oh, it's still going. Oh my gosh. Turn it off. <laughs> it is off. Well, it's a that, water ride. How, how, are already in the how are there that many explosions? <laughs> our, our uh, wait, how do I make? Plummeted. How do I make not? We are, oh. We're over Ian's estimate of where we'd be at the end of the night, though. Yep. Let's Is see if we can see if we can get under it. <laughs> oh boy! Now we have to drive everybody from the park. <laughs> well, I don't think I don't think word of the uh, crashes and stuff has gotten to the other two islands. So perfect. <laughs> we're good. <laughs> we're good. Oh no! We're so that... close to having forty-four hundred. Guests oh, are complaining about the disgusting state of your. Paths. Hey, I, I spent the last half an hour cleaning up paths, so don't tell me they're disgusting. I'm yelling at the person, not you, Jake. What are people thinking about? What are their thoughts? T-H-O-T-S. I want to go home, Abraham G says. <laughs> don't we all? Okay, hold on. The most popular thought is I feel sick. 143 people. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, now it's this path is disgusting. 150 people. <laughs> Where also, are those? Which to path? be immediately followed by, this park is really clean and tidy. <laughs> Pick a lane, people. It's gotta be just oh, one path. Oh, yeah, that path is disgusting. Which one? Holy crap! Which one? <laughs> Where is <laughs> so it? So much! Where is it? Next to uh, Impulsive. Yeah, it's next to Impulsive. It's behind Impulsive. There's where, where so are much it. vomit. Yeah. I won't clean it up until Ian it's gives it It's over on your out, side, Kyle. That is, there needs to be trash cans here, stat. I'm, I'm seriously not on my island. I don't see anything. No, it's the red. It's the red impulse red coaster. Goes, yeah, it goes next into to the, the purple, like hot rod. Goes into rod. the volcanoes. The four volcanoes. Wow, the entire track leading away is covered in I vomit. Don't, I don't. I still don't see it. Is this? Are you sure it's impulsive? Impulsive is the tower. Impulsive. Are uh, there two things called Impulsive? It's next to the purple thing called Dragster. Okay, let me look at Dragster. Oh, okay, now I see it. Yeah. Can you see that? That's a lot. It's messy. Okay, I'm putting some people down. Oh, yeah, I hit the people. <laughs> bumba bumba. Yeah, I didn't... That, that whole western section of coasters need stuff yeah i'm gonna put uh sorry i didn't mean to overreact but it was there had to be <laughs> that's, there's so much vomit something needed to be said yeah if that many because i've been cleaning up for ages but i don't touch kyle stuff this will hurt me nobody's going on these rides zero per hour people used to be going on these rides what happened I can't. Bo no one's going on the bottom sled that won't kill you. Oh, four there's, people are on. There's so many people on my side of the island, though. I really think it's just the line of coasters. Yeah, how are they getting up? Everyone's just coming over here. Like, I'm getting frame rate issues on Kyle's side. <laughs> I'm doing okay, but... It, I've never gotten that. It's using 60% of my CPU. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, it's Is your CPU a block of cheese? <laughs> That's a lot. No, it's uh, it was. Hold on, let me look. Oh no, now it's now it's only using fifty. My seven G coaster. Okay, I just watched a guy clean up vomit and it didn't disappear because there was another pile of vomit underneath <laughs> it, immediately under it. And I just watched another person throw up onto a pile of vomit <laughs> because of the vomit. Oh, okay, yeah, no, all the walkways that Ian built are filthy. Yeah, because there wasn't any benches or anything. Yeah, because yeah, Ian built them. Filthy I'm gonna, ways. I'm gonna put down some uh, trash cans. Trash cans. 
maybe some... I, I put a bunch down. But some benches too, just so people can sit. Our oh. park rating is... Seems like it's leveled after that last explosion, but it's not gone back up <laughs> like it had previously. Whew. All right, four bathrooms. Oh, oh, I'm drowning that man. Sorry. Whew. This park looks pretty good, though. Real bonkers, but pretty good. I don't think I'd ever seen that much vomit <laughs> in this game before. I didn't even know that was possible. In real life or in the game. Mm. How do you do trash cans again? They're in the scenery. Oh, all the trash cans here are immediately full. Just like real life. The trash cans always full. Oh, okay. Somebody put them just exactly where I was going to put them. Oh, sorry. I love emptying out just clicking through the uh, premier memory cache and then empty emptying the trash because it inevitably is like deleted 40, 40 20, gigabytes, yeah. items. Yeah. <laughs> I, I forget, it's either After Effects or Premiere. One of them doesn't let you set a minimum or a maximum. I always set it to 10 gigabytes, so if it hits that, it just auto deletes. Mm -hmm. And then one of them just doesn't let you, and it always annoyed me. I think Premiere. I feel like that you can do that. I'm pretty Premiere, sure. I want to say, lets you delete them. You can set it not to a, a, a file size, but to a time. Like after yeah. oh, like 90 days. a week or after six months, it will delete files, but I'm not sure. Oh, Will, William Yosefitz. Um, <laughs> yes. Are you, I was talking like, are you going to be buying Clubhouse games? What's called Clubhouse 51? I bought it already. Club oh, Penguin? I think I'm going to buy it as well. It seems like a good. A good road trip. Yeah, I've been looking forward to it ever since. I think I want to, not E3, but uh, E4. What was the what was the last like big gaming thing? Oh, before E3. The last big thing, PAX. E2. Before everything started to shut down. I forget when. Game Awards. Nintendo announced. Uh, I think it was the Game Awards. Nintendo no, it wasn't. It, it was. Uh, I think they was announced it? it at a direct. Their last direct, like their indie direct or whatever they call it. Yeah, but it was like an official thing. It was around something else, I want to say. I'm going to look it up. I don't know. Anyways, I'm very excited for it. Um, I've been excited for it for thousands of years. So the reviews already came uh, out, and people are saying it's pretty good. Yeah. And I know the... a lot. Of, I saw a lot of people saying the, the 3DS one is what kept them using a 3DS for so long. Hey, because... 4,400 people. Woo! Oh, my guess count's going down. What? I'm at 4409. Wow. I'm at 4401. The game, 4404. The game was announced in a March 2020 Nintendo Direct. Oh, wow. Boom. In that? your face, Will. Yeah. Oh, just, I'm just kidding. Leave, <laughs> please. <laughs> Bye. Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe. It'll... Oh, you want. I wonder. I wonder. Maybe it was that Xbox thing we watched. Ooh. So, what do you think is going to be the first. <laughs> game conference to happen did uh, bungee pax west <laughs> oh you mean in person yeah yeah i know bungee's revealing the new destiny season on the ninth but yeah I'm the so big the I, first big in in person conference i i wouldn't say anything sooner they done i wouldn't say anything sooner than pax east 2021 yeah because gamescom is already done you don't think pax west is gonna happen it didn't pax west Oh, they still haven't canceled they said it. They're still on. But they're yeah. they're Labor Day, right? When's Labor Day? Like August? I think September? they're just waiting for the city to close it. But you never know. I don't I don't see that. I mean, Gamescom already got called off. And basically, between PAX West and PAX PAX South, PAX South is in January in Texas. Tejas. Yeah, I believe it's in San Antonio. I could see maybe Pack South. 
I don't know when PAX Australia is. Good day, mate. Throw another PAX on the Barbie. Gotcha. Did you guys see those pictures of uh, Nintendo Land at uh, Universal Japan? Yes. It looks so good. Yeah. Yeah. It looks yeah. It looks so good. I thought it looked great. I immediately looked up tickets to Japan. Um, Let's go. There's, there's rumors that that land expansion might come to Orlando, oh, but I'm not sure. Nice. There's no timeline. How, it would be nice. How do you guys feel about roller coasters? I feel like I'm old now because I'm just not interested in roller coasters anymore. I love I'm, roller coasters. I'm interested, but I can't do more than like one or two in a day. My head starts. Really? Yeah. Oh I, oh, you're I used to be able to do a ton, and then, um, Ooh. like uh, after Hazel and I got married, I found that I could only oh. go on a <laughs> penis fall. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> wow. The penis fell. How does all this stuff that's been running fine you know for years? Because we have too many rides, and so the mechanics are probably not doing inspections. So we're probably oh. upping some algorithm for a crash. That's my guess. Oh, no. <laughs> that's bizarre. Get out of here with your logic. I'm going to fire all of the entertainers. Yeah, we don't need them anymore. Uh, the shaft tickler still hasn't been fixed. And all the security <laughs> guards. And I'm just going to hire a bunch more. Uh mechanics how did that happen? beat you to it no i did it 129 that's i don't i i, I can't remember i mean i don't know if i've ever operated a park this long where like is there some mechanic that adds up um i if your ride doesn't get inspected often enough because so, that would that it seems like that would be a, actually an interesting thing to implement but i've never experienced it before. yeah i don't i don't know for certain but but off my limited development experience i would say i would imagine it being a percentage a chance of failure that chance goes up over time but every time you have an inspection it resets the percentage so like it starts at 0.5 percent catastrophic failure where suddenly it crashes well no no the it's not that it just breaks down oh yeah well maybe it's two percentages maybe it's like a 10 percent chance of breakdown 0.1 percent chance of catastrophic failure and then yeah. it increments over time so it becomes 15 percent 20 percent 30 percent but every time it gets an inspection it resets mm -hmm. that's just one that's, that's one way i would implement it. yeah Thank God you're not in charge. In charge? <laughs> I was hoping you didn't catch that. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to. I said an extra syllable. You've been, uh, you've been drinking, baby boy? Only a little bit. Uh, I've been making a lot of uh, mojitos. Homemade mojitos. Pretty good. Ooh. They're... I've been making a, uh, some moonshine and white claw. It's pretty good. Mojitos... Uh, they're hard to make yourself because you have to get fresh mint and fresh limes. Like, that's the way to do it. And it's like, well, I want a mojito. Okay, well, let me go find a grocery store that has mint in stock. Wow, that was very elitist of you. Well, that's going to do it for tonight's stream, folks. Will's being a dick already, so... <laughs> <laughs> Hazel sent me to the store the other day and said, get the cheapest bottle of wine. And apparently oh, I no. I don't drink wine, but apparently I found one that was not terrible. Oh, nice. I forget, Florida, what was you guys can get alcohol in grocery stores. Oh, yeah. It's it's immediate. It's on the opposite side. If soda's on one side of the aisle and then you go around the corner and on the other. Mm -hmm. I have a... But not the the hard stuff is still in a different building. Oh, okay. It's kind of like in Pennsylvania, if you want uh, the hard stuff, it's in a government store. But if you want beer, it's in a um, it's in a privately owned store. But you have to sell it by the case. <laughs> like you can't buy a six pack. You have to buy mm. like by the case because it's supposed to be like wholesale distribution, quote unquote. But people just sell you like a twenty pack or whatever. It's real wonky, but they're not allowed in the same store. Um, but still hasn't been fixed. Uh, Come on. I have an interesting question. So, sorry. How I, many 
do you think there's more states yeah. that don't allow alcohol in grocery stores or more states that do allow alcohol sales in grocery stores? I would or guess don't. towards don't because I remember at some point realizing that um, like when I lived in California, I had not experienced the um, like adjacent liquor store. Uh -huh. Um, and then it was moving to the south that I'm like, wait, why is this in like another building? Um, oop, what another the crash. What the <laughs> oh, boy? We need to hire more mechanics. Why are they all in my park? <laughs> um, as that more states have pretty strict policies. How did it crash? Uh, all right, especially so the Bible Belt. So I am at the grocery store guy.com. And I'm I'm gonna consider Love beer I'm gonna consider beer only sales as allowing alcohol sales. Mm -hmm. Um so it looks like there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There are ten states that no sales in alcohol of alcohol in grocery stores. The rest of them al allow beer or beer and wine or beer, wine and liquor. Like yeah. So I grew up in Massachusetts where you'd have to go to the packy store to get any sort of liqueur, which was, uh, I think it's, oh, but you, but you can buy beer. It was though. weird. What? Wait, if I'm, you can't buy beer in those grocery stores. If I'm looking at this, if I'm looking at this right, then Massachusetts, you can buy beer, wine, and liquor in a grocery store now. Uh, unless it's changed in the past literal three years. But I don't think so. Okay. But it's like, like, I don't drink, so this shouldn't bother me, but I don't get it. Like, to what end? What purpose does it serve to have it somewhere else? Yeah, they can totally sell it. Grocery stores and grocery and convenience stores can sell beer and wine in Massachusetts. Does it say when? Since when? Uh, yeah, it says uh, since 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. Monday through Saturday. I hate you so much. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if it's a, there's dry townships in the state, but that's right. Flat out prohibit the sale. Uh, the Again, Ocean, Ocean City, New Jersey, is a dry town, um, or maybe it's Long Beach Island, or maybe it's both. I can't remember. You but... know, honestly, good for them because Ocean City. Uh, Maryland is a real trash hole of a beach town, largely because of the party and scene. And they keep, they advertise for it in Jersey. Yeah. And everyone who sees that commercial that I was like, have you seen that commercial? And they're like, yeah, why aren't we advertising for our own Ocean City, which is way better? Yeah. I've, I've always wanted to go to Ocean City, New Jersey, especially after I went to Ocean it's, City, Maryland. It's and it was really crap. nice. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. Our boardwalk is awesome and we have real good pizza. You know, what? I'm gonna look it up right now. What the what the distance? Because I've done it a couple times where in the summer I'll take like a a one day road trip while I'll, I'll drive like it's like three hours from my place to Rehoboth Beach in Delaware, and then I drive from Rehoboth yeah. Beach down the beach to Ocean City, and then I drive the three hours back home, and it's just a nice like day trip in the Miata convertible. It's hot out. You stop halfway through. You go Ooh, to the beach. That sounds awesome. It's great. So I'm gonna I'm gonna look up what it would take to do that to Ocean City, Jersey. It may be you less. You could crash in my place, too. Fun. Well, dude, we could do a sub-pixel Ocean City oh. extravaganza. And watch Battlestar Galactica. Yeah. And watch Battlestar Galactica. Right, I'm looking it up. Great. It's seven hours and 16 minutes from home to Ocean City, New Jersey. Uh, I have to take 12 different buses. The Greyhound, the Metro Subway Link, and the Peter Pan. All right. Oh, oh let me see. I love it. switch to car. It's only two hours, 48 minutes. That's not bad. That's not that's bad at all. Oh, and this really does pass by right near you, Kyle, right? Yeah, it's it's like on the way. You probably would get on either the Garden State Parkway if you're coming from... No, I think you would get on the Atlantic City Expressway, which is... It yeah. goes from Philly to Atlantic City. Yeah, this shows 295 to the to the Atlantic City Expressway. Yeah, yep, yep, that's what you do. Because that's that comes over... Um, I, I don't know if it's the Delaware Memorial Bridge, I guess into 295 yeah okay. you know what let's totally that plan that because right. i'm i'm guessing they have yeah. a, i guess I, well, actually i can see on google maps they have a lot of good arcades there i love beachfront yes, arcades they do yeah 100 we're doing that 
Um, awesome. Will, you're invited. Yeah, you guys can, Jake, you're not invited. You guys are more than welcome to come. <laughs> Jake. <laughs> Actually, Jake, if you want to come, it's totally funny good. excluding Jake. That's I just don't know. I just don't know what COVID's going to like. Oh, yeah. I know stuff is trying to open up. Um, and like there, there's some like outdoor seating and stuff, but I don't know what it would mean for the arcades and stuff. We could just plan next I'm summer. I'm anticipating I'm not going to fly anywhere for a while now. <laughs> yeah, same here. We'll come down and pick you up. But when we do that, we can shoot an episode of our unannounced series on this little bad boy. <gasps> Ooh, yeah. it's, it's perfect for stuff like that. What's uh, What tape is that? It's a high 8 millimeter. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's good stuff. I have a JVC Hi8 tape, and all, everything I've shot on it is hot garbage. It's this <laughs> this camcorder. This is the one we shot the Pax Z stuff it's on. It's beautiful. actually like super easy to shoot on. I love it. Uh, I'm not saying we have to end it, but when do we feel like ending it? We're an hour forty into the stream. I think we should ceremonially, literally close the park at the end of the stream. Yes. Whoa. So Maybe we try to get to, to 4,500 and then we close the park. Oh, we try to get to zero. That's smart. <laughs> Actually, you know, I'm going to get us. When we close it. When we get to 4,500. Can we systematically. I'm going to delete. Can we systematically destroy each roller coaster? Like just cut off the end point? Yes. Okay. So here's the plan. Oh, that's. We get to 4,500. <laughs> I will delete the path that allows people to exit. We close the park. Oh, yes. Wait, if we close the park, do people immediately disappear? I don't think they immediately disappear, but I think they will begin to leave. Okay. Well, I can always create a save point so we, we can we won't get screwed out. We should yeah. take a giant screenshot before we do anything. Yes. Yeah, zoom yeah. all the way out. Forty five. Because you can do giant screenshot in the in the save menu. Will, you're in charge of that. Okay. Uh forty five hundred. I delete the path. We close the park. We close the path. Close the car park. Close the car park. And then we start crashing rides. All right. There's a lot of rides. We've got like 240 rides. That's fine. Well, yeah, I mean, you can just click on that thing and then hit stop on all of them. No, but they, he was no, no, saying no. take you the don't... end piece off of every ride so that every oh. ride literally. Well, crashes. you could just take off yeah. oh. a random piece, right? Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. You just click wherever, click the construction thing, click a piece and hit delete and then just move on to the next one. Yeah, you have to close the ride to to. Oh, the construction. Right. Right. Well, we could do it. <laughs> We're at forty four ninety two. Oh, I'm, I'm only at forty four sixty eight. Uh -oh. I'm at forty four fifty. Forty four forty five. We're all on track. So, you know, I'm going to save Kyle's <laughs> number. I'm going to save 4495. 4496. 4497. Wait, we, we got to go off my number because I'm 90. streaming and I'll be safe. I'm 4470 now. I hopped back in. Yeah, I'm 4471. Network do sync immediately. Yeah. Let's try this again. <laughs> Little old me. Yo, I just built a bomb roller coaster. Wow, you, Will, you can't say that on a stream. Don't, don't say that at an airport. I just built an awesome airport bomb roller coaster. All right, 4472. 4477. Oh no, it's it's. We keep going. We're switching between like 68 and 73 on my side. So we actually do. We may not hit 4500. Oh, Mine man. is dropping. I'm down to six four 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 six seven. I'm four four seven zero. Oof! It's our rating is like fifty, right? It's been hovering. It was way higher, and then everything started crashing. <laughs> Forty-four seventy. Come on, you can do it. Oh, we hit the ride limit. Seventy-one. Again. Three. Oh, come on, you stupid thing. 73. 74. Boom. 76. 77. Come on. Please get to 80. Oh, I can't create new rides. Too many rides. Yeah, maybe just start deleting the ones that I have the worst. I haven't been building anything for a while. I've just been zipping around. Get rid of Remy. No! 
I love rhyming. <gasps> oh, and it will no. make a spectacular explosion. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Twisty nips crashed. <laughs> what? No. Wait, we're at 4481. I haven't gotten that prompt yet. I have 4476. Wait, I haven't gotten that prompt yet either. Oh, it's March 10th. It's the day before my birthday. It's March 30th on mine. Really? No, it's a joke. Okay. <laughs> now it's March. Should be like that's we're <laughs> way off now. <laughs> Got him. Oh no. I don't know if we're going to hit 4500. <laughs> I'm at 4483. 4485. Yeah, but the, the problem is I I'm the server, so I'm I'm the record. Well, what are you at? 4467. Oh yeah, I'm at 4480. I I don't get it. It's cuz when you join it it desyncs. Which typically is okay cuz as long as you're building it'll sync it back up, but it's not going to sync the gas number. That would be crazy, because you'd have to constantly sync the guest number with people. I'm busy writing a message. I can see it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Nailed it. I wrote, at some point, I wrote up in this northernmost part, I said subscribe to Subpixel, but all that lands, all that terrain seems to have vanished. Last time I logged off and logged back in. Oh, it's weird when these paths, they just kept deleting themselves. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I like the 3D element you've got going on with this well. Yeah, it's really nice. Thank you. Yeah. Wait, what? What do you mean? How did it... <laughs> Wait. It's like a, it's like a pop-up. Or... Wait, yeah, that's cool. do you do that? I... That's cool. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> How did you do that? Do I'm watching it happen on stream because there's a delay. <laughs> is there a way to do that? No. I never... Oh, clearly there is. No. <laughs> you do that. <laughs> I don't know why this is such a mystery to Will. How do you do that? What do you mean? Mommy. All right, what are we blowing up first? What? Uh, should we just... Oh, I'm, I'm at 4494. I'm also at 4494. Yeah, but... Th we, I'm at 4495. It doesn't... It doesn't matter, because you guys aren't the server. We <laughs> well, what are know. You at? I'm at 4478. I'm slowly... How climbing. did you make all of the things go up? 97, 98, 99. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. All right. I hit, I hit 4,500. 4, yeah, I hit 4,500 too. Uh, Does that there. mean we did it? <laughs> that means I'm the server, right, Ian? 4,502. <laughs> I'm 04. But wait, how did you raise the thing? <laughs> how do you do that? Well, it's thinking about this. I know, way. It's, so, oh, it's so funny now. Oh, you uh, lowered it! <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> Goodness. How did you manage to fit it? That's what she said. <laughs> oh my goodness. Man, that took me way too long to figure out. <laughs> no, I was like, at some I started, I'm like, is this a bit that Will's doing? And I'm like, no, he doesn't get it. I was so amazed. <laughs> I couldn't believe you did it. Oops. That was a bad thing I did. Terraforming. Oh, I like the checkerboard. Oh, that hurts my eyes. <sighs> it's an optical illusion depending on where you look at it. Oh. You're an optical illusion. Thank you. You're welcome. You're an optical delusion. Can we stop now? No. I'm back to 44.90. We're getting very close. I'm at 44.06. I'm going to close the park. Three. Almost there. Wait, Ian, what are you at? At 44.93. It doesn't matter what Ian's at. <laughs> oh, boy. 
All right, so Will, you're gonna you're, you'll close the park. I'll delete the path. Uh oh, rail my daddy still hasn't been fixed. <laughs> I am also wet. Has broken down. <laughs> okay, we're ready. Almost there. Okay, let me know. Yeah, but mine doesn't say five, forty-five hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I wish I could do a full <laughs> screen of the guest funny. number. Uh, why don't you just zoom in? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm so glad this series is ending. Oh, I went ahead and deleted the past. I was feeling sassy. I hate everyone. I'm back to 44.99. I'm at 45.12. I got, I'm at 44.99. I got to 98. 98. And then it... I think Jake and I are synced. Is it falling for you again? Uh, uh, a little bit, but it's, 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 16, it's at 94, 95. This is a bad idea, just having to stare at the number for the... <laughs> oh, let me take a giant screenshot. We'll be watching our subscriber and count. Oh, giant we'll screenshot. Find. There we go. 96. This is 97. <laughs> This is actually kind of challenging getting the guest numbers up without <laughs> advertising. Because I feel like that's yeah. that's the quote unquote easy way normally is you just run advertising. Who's going to rail my daddy? Me. Oh, there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean for that side of too. to work out. Oh. What are you at, Ian? Uh, I'm at 3,500. 4,500. I hit it. 99. I close the park. I close the park. Result. Park is closed. Forty-five oh one. All right, let me let me save. Uh, we are saved. Are we ready? Do you want me to close all the rides too? Or are we blowing them up? Wait, I thought you were taking the uh, the entrance out. I don't know that you can. You're just gonna delete everything. Oh, I'm deleting the path. Yeah. Oh, you're not letting them leave? Yeah, that's... No. Well, but I already messed up. I think there's a path that still connects. So I'm down to 4497, oh, but it's okay. people coming in on mine. What the heck? I wanted to see it go down to zero. No, no, we're going to trap them in here and then crash Still all the on? rides. Yeah. All right, so let's see if I can... I didn't agree to this. <laughs> okay, all right, here we go. You know what? We should fire all the staff and hire a bunch of security guards. Alright, let's see. What's happening first? Everything. <laughs> You're all responsible for your own islands. Okay. Yeah, I'll blow mine up. Oh, wait. Track's not a complete circuit, so I can't. I guess some of the rides... You can... How do you... Okay, what's the... If it's not a complete circuit, how do you reopen it? You run it as a test? You run a test? Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then I can't have people on it. But I, I guess I'm okay with that. How did you raise this up? <laughs> you raise me up <laughs> when I am out of eagle. No, nah, so you can't. Okay, so are we each just closing all our own rides? You can't run it as a test if it's not a complete circuit. Gosh uh, dang it. Okay, so they built. They must have let once uh, Atari took it out of the took the franchise out of the hands of Chris Sawyer. They took away the safety protocols. I guess so. Dang, bastards! Because in Roller Coaster Tycoon Three, you can definitely run it as a test without it being a complete circuit. If I double click the close button on the park, does it immediately vacate everyone? I don't know. Is the park you, you closed it? It's closed? Yeah, it is very close. Oh, yeah, people need to leave. Get out of here. They can't leave because Ian destroyed the paths. Oh, let's see what they're all uh -oh. thinking. Let me go to their thoughts. Ooh. Daddy, go faster. There's a thousand people. Oh. Do you want me to close? <laughs> we can close all the rides. Hold on. There are some rides we can. Yeah. We can. There's, destroy. If they're launched, you can crash them. Like if it doesn't have to be a complete yeah. circuit. Also, we can just start oh, well. drowning people. That's Let's 
not. Uh, <laughs> um, what if we drown it? Jake for being against us? Oh, yeah, is okay. Dream Mom still no, here? <laughs> Ooh, okay, Wait, Dream Mom still here? Do you remember we named one of them Stream Mom? Oh, they're not here anymore. Mm. Yeah, they left like probably the first episode. Probably a good call. Oh, I wonder if there's any. Do you think there's any wills here? Will I am? Or there's a wills, there's a way. Go to page three. <gasps> there's a Willie. There's a Will C. <gasps> Is there a... He's so excited. He's a great scenery. Look at all. Okay, he's been on It's Barely Functional, Haunted House. Oh, there's no. A real good time. There's four Ians. Santa's special pack. There's no ENG. Wet and mild. It's like a. Wow, I can't believe there's a Will C. I'm going to drown Will C. Is that okay? Wee. There's. It's you. Oh. <gasps> oh, there's no Jake T. <laughs> <laughs> that was impulsive. No, I'm not gonna murder myself. No, Jake. That was crazy. You cannot self-terminate. All right. So what are we doing? Are we just gonna close down all the rides one by one? I think so. Yeah. But well, we by can one? mass close them, or we can do them one by one. What's the? Oh. Yeah. I guess I'll. Do I guess. I guess I'll do the mass close. Yeah, you do it, gentlemen. I closed all the bathrooms. It is time. I want to watch all the people suddenly pour onto the paths. We are closed. Ooh. Oh. And now we have to get oh out of town gosh. with this money before the shareholders realize what happened. How long do you think <laughs> it would take for them to empty the park? We can leave it running. I, I, yeah. Our park rating has plummeted. <laughs> I'm going to close everything except for Golden Shower. Never, never close it. It's always open. Yeah, our park rating just dive bombed. Uh, well, folks, um, let's go around the horn. I think it's because people died. I want to hear your uh, your overall take on Subpixel Inc. Season 2. We're now out of money. How do you feel about it, and what's next? Let's start with Jake. Um, yeah, we're going to take what, what meager capital we did get from this, and we're going to reinvest it back into some sort of worthwhile endeavor. Mm -hmm. I don't know how we thought we were going to get to whatever it was, 9,000 guests. <laughs> Ooh, more things are exploding periodically. I'm firing all the mechanics. And, uh, Jake, oh. if people have enjoyed your content in particular, uh, thanks, Derpy Moon, big old rip tombstone. Uh, where can people find you? <laughs> On Twitter, at underscore Jake Terrio, SoundCloud, Jake Terrio Music. Instagram at underscore mean mean stride or Jake Terrio music. Thank you very much. Great. Only fans. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah. Terrio music. laughs> Kyle, how are you feeling? And uh, where can people find you? So I think this is a worthwhile endeavor. Um, we learned how not to build a theme park, which is great. Or how to build a theme mm -hmm. park if you like killing people. Um, yeah, I, I think it was a good time. We do need to, you know, get some of that capital back and, and we'll we'll recoup our losses. Not those people's lives, but our losses for sure. Um, Someone drowned. Ian, are you drowning guests again? No. Um and yeah, so I, I'm I'm ready for the next venture. Yeah, I think I think I think I'm right there with you. Uh William Yosefitz Crispers. You know, I'm I'm very excited. Uh, I mean we're out of money, but who needs money anyways? So I'm looking forward to finding out our next big thing to make money. Hopefully it's like robbing banks or. <gasps> um, That's a good idea. Or something like that. That's a good idea. Anyways, it's some sort of heist based oh, thing. Oh, that thing is going back up. How? I'm drowning yeah, people as fast I'm as I can. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I think that'll be fun. Um, and you can find me on Twitter at Hunt270. Um, but you really don't want to see that kind of content, to be honest. You don't want to see that sweet tent. Um, sweet tent. I'm feeling rather good, folks. I mean, I don't know about you guys. Um, but I feel like this has been pretty successful. It was hard to figure out how we were going to follow up. <laughs> so many people drowning. <laughs> how we were going to follow up. Subpixel Link Season 1. If you guys have not seen that, I highly recommend it. The elevator pitch is we designed the world's first car for gamers. We uh, did military spec testing for it. We then shipped it to the moon as a promotional 
event, and then we uh, flew ourselves to Mars and established a factory there, and basically had a huge success. Um, Subpixel Link Season 2, we then took that success, all that money, and we sunk it immediately into Subpixel Land, which is probably the world's best, but also deadliest theme park, clearly. Ooh, we just took a hard spike oh. in the park <laughs> rating. Park rating no. is officially zero. Love it. <laughs> Love it. Um, Nailed it. Um, I the, the episode where you guys tested the car, I think, is my favorite thing that I've edited oh, for Subpixel that so was, far. BeamNG is so good <laughs> when it gets going. Um, but folks, that's... I'm, I'm Think Gibson. At Think Gibson on Twitter. Uh, you can find me there. I think, uh, you know, if you want more of our sweet, sweet Subpixel content, first of all, you should like, comment, subscribe, follow. Anything you can do on this particular piece of content, ring that notification bell if you're on YouTube. Um, that basically... Uh, Let's uh, you know when we've got new t content coming out. Um, we've got plenty of stuff coming up. I wanna I wanna start some teasing. Will, what are we doing tomorrow? Tomorrow we are playing some Super Mario Maker. For uh, we're doing a little charity stream. That's right, 5 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I recommend you be there. We have a lot of crazy, crazy incentives for you to donate. It's going to be a great time. Even if you can't donate money, just just join us. It's always going to be a great stream. Um, a lot of people dying. I don't know why. Um, I'm deleting roller coasters. The, the little noise it makes when it happens. <laughs> it's a little bit too joyous considering what's happening. Just, I can't. I can't hear anything. Ding in. So um, but. We also have something starting tomorrow. Something that Will and I have been working on for literally more than a year. And just to be clear, it's not because it's good. It's because we're lazy. <laughs> but we finally Dude. finished it. We finally beat Halo C. That's right. Halo 1, we finally beat it. Uh, like I said, it took us a year. But we have our full Let's Play. It's starting tomorrow. We're going to release one episode per day. Starting t tomorrow, Friday, all the way through next Friday. Eight parts. I don't know what the total is. It's probably... Well, Will, what do you guess the total is? Total runtime of the playlist. 18 hours, maybe. Oh, really? I'm going to... I'm gonna. No, it's probably like nine hours. Yeah, I think that's about right. Um, it's about an hour uh, app. Yeah, I, I think it probably averages out to that. Some of the, I think the first and the last mission are a little bit shorter. Um, but yeah, it's, it was a lot of fun doing it. We're finally releasing it. It's, uh, it's a lot of people drowning. Sorry if I seem distracted, I'm murdering people right now. <laughs> um, we are Subpixel Films. You can find us at subpixelfilms.com. We've got fantastic content. We've got the Halo CE coming out tomorrow. We've got the charity stream tomorrow, 5 p.m. Eastern. That's going to be on Twitch, Mixer, and YouTube. We also have some fantastic content coming up on Monday. Monday? What is Monday's content? Is that, is that yours, Kyle? I hope not. What, what's is it on Monday? It, it is. Okay. <laughs> I've got something. In, I've got something in the hopper. If you if you are not able that. to make it, we might need that. Hold on. We'll we'll see what I get done over the weekend. Um, we've got something coming out on Monday. <laughs> Don't worry, it will happen. Um, but we also have plenty of streams. We stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. Will, what are we streaming on? Are we streaming this Saturday? Yes, uh, there's currently something slotted in there, but uh, I think we should change it to something more fun. Okay, so we, we will be streaming Saturday night, 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, just be on the be on the lookout for that. It's going to be fantastic stuff. This is such a long outro, but I feel like it's the perfect outro for this trash fire of a park. Um, oh, boy. Final words, anybody? With nobody able to exit the park, the number of guests now, based on the number of guests we had... Oh my god. We killed a thousand people, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> that wow. was all you guys. I'm just deleting everything. And I I found it was really easy to just put the path tool on the paths over the water and just hit the backspace a lot cuz then it just deletes the path. Oh, yeah, the backspace. I'm sorry, not backspace, but the oh, I always, the back tractor. Always, and it just I always right click deletes them. Um oh, I see what you're saying. That's it. I think we just got to end this stream. You know what? You know what? I'm going to flip over the full cam. Enough people have died today. Let's see how many rides I delete. How many did you delete? Oh, a lot. We had 250. Uh -huh. 
now we have 167. Got it. Great stuff. Well, folks, I think that's going to do it for us today. This, this, this has just got to end. We got to go to bed. Bye. Bye.